in the Remember the Time videos at Iman, Eddie Murphy, Magic Johnson. Mm -hmm. I, I believe Kevin Federline was one of the backup dancers yep. in that, mm -hmm. you know, in that song. Um, that album. My, my old dancer, Fatima, and, and, and Leslie, they were, they used to dance for Guy. Aha. Uh -huh. And when I left Guy, they left, they left too. <laughs> they went to go. They went to dance with whoever and they, they made it on that video. Uh, that album, well, to this day, we were talking about this before, has sold 75 million copies worldwide. Yeah. One of the biggest selling albums ever. Uh, won a Grammy for a best engineered album. Yeah, I got an engineer's award. You know, it's just amazing. I was like, damn, I'm not really an engineer, but I'll take it. I'll take it. Take it. <laughs> um, you know, one of the interesting things, I remember I interviewed, uh, you know, Rodney Jerkins, who mm -hmm. ended up working with Michael uh, before he passed. When I asked him in our interview, I said, "What what is different about Michael when he records? And he said, when Michael gets in the booth, he dances like full steam to the mm -hmm. point where he's drenched in sweat by yes. the time he walks out of the booth. Very true. Michael, Michael danced in the booth so hard that he, the headphones were literally would be coming off his head. He had to have like three, three different pairs of t-shirts with him because he was sweat out his t-shirts in the booth. Mm. He sweat them out because he's performing the song in the book. I remember when we did Rock My World and he sweat, he sweated out, sweated out that you had to, he had to change three times. And that's every song. That's how much he gives, how much energy he gives in the booth. So you saw the same thing. Yeah, but the other thing is, because I'm I'm so keen to sound, Michael used to wear those loafers and you used to hear this. And him hitting music stands. <laughs> Michael, when he's in the studio, anything goes. And he said, no, you guys just work out getting the sounds and the noise out. I'm like, <laughs> fix it in post. Fix it in post. I'm like, <laughs> but you, you, every singer have a different way of singing and way of expressing themselves. Michael, his expressions, you can't, it's like, you never know what's going to happen when he goes in to sing. Like at one point, Michael, went in the studio and for some reason he turns off the lights and thought he can walk to the microphone and everything. He ran into the anvil case and it fell on him. <laughs> One day Michael was supposed to come to work and he got pulled over by the police because he got into an accident and it was a multi-car accident that he caused. And he was driving the same truck like OJ. You know, the same, they had, I thought the it was- Bronco? The white the Bronco? Bronco, yes. <laughs> and that was the only car, you know, he, he drove, that I seen him drive. I've never seen Michael drive until I seen him drive that. And he drove in and that day he said, I got into an accident. Cause he was late. <laughs> I got into an accident. I was like, what, are you okay? He was like, yeah, I'm fine. I was just like, you know, the police let me go. I, I had, you know, you paid him told off. him who I was. And I said, tell everybody, you know, you take my car, you call me and tell everybody they will be taken care of. And he came to the studio. <laughs>